it's uh, obviously an immense pleasure to welcome you all here for this panel discussion on Switzerland and the European research area, a real alternative to the United States. That's the title, and I think that promises a lot. And I'm very honored to host this very high profile panel. Let me start with um, introducing you the panelists very shortly so we don't lose too much time on that. First, I would like to thank the moderator, Dr. Alan Leshner, Chief Executive Officer of the American Association for the Advancement of Science and Executive Publisher of Science. And then, of course, our panelists from Switzerland pull in Dr. Dieter Imboden. He's the president of the Swiss National Science Foundation and also, and not least, very important for this evening's discussion. He's the president of EuroHorx, the European Head of Research Councils. That means even if Switzerland is not a member of the European Union, we are very much involved in European research policy. Then, Dr. Charles West, president of the National Academy of Engineering and the president emeritus of MIT. We are very glad, Mr. West, that you uh, could make it. Dr. Thomas uh, Zurbuchen, Swiss professor at the University of Michigan, there director of the Center for Entrepreneurship and also professor of space science and aerospace engineering. He will obviously bring in the point of view of a Swiss professor teaching at an American university. And then Robert Whipker, a US researcher who soon is going to move as postdoc to Switzerland to do research in the field of behavior, behavior, uh, behavioral finance and venture. Welcome to you as well. Good evening. The order in which we'll go is we'll begin with Dr. Imboden, Dr. Vest, Dr. Zubuchen, Robert Lipker. I will try to pronounce their names in a reasonable way. Um, and so, Dr. Imboden, the director of the Swiss National Science Foundation. Thank you very much. 